Hello everyone, let's solve this question. If the components of a vector f in space are defined as f of x is equal to f cos alpha, f y is equal to f cos beta and f z is equal to f cos gamma, then express alpha beta and gamma in terms of theta and phi. Okay, see basically it's a vector it's a normal vector that's given and we have been uh, told what are the components along x direction, y direction and z direction. Okay. In all these three direction, we know the values of the vectors. Okay. Like this is fx in this direction. This is fy. This is fz. Okay. Uh, in that way it goes. And we have to take out what is this relation between alpha, beta, gamma and theta and phi. As you know, theta and phi belong to the cylindrical coordinate system, okay? So, basically, if we uh, use uh, some sort of a comparison of sorts, uh, then uh, we know that this R, theta and phi are the spherical coordinates and we know x, y and z are the Cartesian coordinates, okay? And over here, we have been uh, given all the components in the particular uh, in Cartesian coordinates uh, direction that is fx, fy and fz. Alright. Okay. If we uh, see this, uh, if we say what is x equal to, I'll say it's r sin theta cos phi y is equal to r sin theta sin phi. Okay. And z, z is equal to r cos theta. Okay. Now, if I suppose compare this with what is given to me, okay, f cos alpha, then this one is f cos beta, then next is f cos gamma, alright. Now, if I see this, if I compare this, then you can say, see this z component if you see first of all, if I say, supposing, suppose, Suppose f is equal to r, okay? f is just the magnitude, okay? And r is also a magnitude, okay? So, over here, um, r uh, is, uh, suppose f is equal to r, okay? And uh, so, by, uh, by this assumption, I can say theta is equal to gamma, correct? Now, going further ahead in this comparison, in this comparison, if I say, if I compare the first one, then I'll say f cos alpha is equal to r sin theta cos phi. Okay. So, what is f? f we had we have assumed it to be r. So, it will be r cos alpha is equal to r sin theta cos phi. Okay. So, what is it that I got cos alpha? Sin theta cos phi. So, I can say alpha is equal to cos inverse cos inverse sin theta cos phi okay this is what i got and this one is gamma is equal to theta firstly i had got first i had got this then if i see the second equation that is f cos beta will be equal to r sin theta sin phi so uh, what will i write over here so, instead of F, I'll write R again, okay, by the same comparison method, R sin theta, sin phi, alright. Now, what is this? Cos beta equal to, so, I mean, beta is equal to cos inverse sin theta, sin phi, okay, this is clear. Then I got beta also in terms of theta and phi, see, we are nothing is defined. So, I use this comparison method to solve this. Then, what does the next bit say? It says, cos. we have to uh, say prove this, that cos square alpha plus cos square beta plus cos square gamma is equal to 1. Okay? Now, since we have got everything, cos square alpha plus cos square beta plus cos square gamma is equal to what? Let me see. See, cos alpha is over here and your cos beta is over here okay and your cos and your cos theta is equal to your cos gamma 
okay so let me just substitute the values all right so it'll be sine square theta cos square phi plus cos one second plus sine square theta sine square phi plus cos square theta okay so uh, taking the these two terms common it will be cos square phi plus sin square phi this is plus cos square theta okay so this is one so then i got sin square theta plus cos square theta which is again one okay so basically we proved this so since this is also proved so uh, this assumption that i have taken is justified okay if you have any other method to solve this question do write it in the comment section okay thank you